Hey everybody, Simon here, Projects in the Barn again. Um, it's the day after I did all my coil packs and spark plugs on the Porsche. And um, we're going to carry it on today uh, just by doing the oil service and if we get a chance to do the filters as well. It's been a pretty miserable day all day here today, but it's now the afternoon. We've been out for a drive in the car to warm it up. Had a bit of lunch, we've come back and we're going to do the uh, oil service now. It's nice and warm. I've got an additive that I want to put into the fuel first, run it up for 10 minutes. Uh, and then we'll drop all the oil out, swap over the filters, etc. But as you can imagine, um, it's a bit of a pain. My XKR is up on the axle stands. There we go. <laughs> and I've got a spare one, and my other ones here are for bigger vehicles like my distance wide. So they're two big to go underneath that one. Um, so what I've done is I've just reversed it up onto my chop blocks that we use for camping, uh, which is perfectly suitable for my car, takes the weight of my uh, massive truck. Um, so I've just rolled it up onto there to give me easy access to take off the uh, sump plug and the oil filter um, uh, to drain the oil out, which I think will work uh, reasonably well. And if it needs to be, I can always sort of roll off of that to get the last remnants of the oil out. Uh, but we'll see how we go. But otherwise, without jacking the car up to get to it, I've got no real way of getting to the drain plug and the oil filter, so this is probably the best thing that I can do at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add the um, additive to the oil, run up for 10 minutes, like I say, we'll, we'll drop it all out and we'll go from there. But I'll show you the additive that we've got, there you go, it's just on some levelling blocks. So we're raised up in the air probably about 15 20 centimeters something like that so the additive to go into it if we can get the sunlight is this man old stuff motor flush lubrication system flushing so yeah i'll basically throw that in to the oil and then um we let it run for 10 minutes so i've already uh, popped the boot so we can access the uh oil which is there. Take that off. And then now we're going to add it into that. Just move my stuff out of the way. And in fact, I'll get some rags. I don't want to spill any in it, so bear with me. I'll go and do that. Okay, so yeah, I've just put some blue roll around it. I've just cracked the can open. I'm going to try and do this whilst looking at the camera. Throw that in there. Be mindful which one's oil, which one is coolant. Three days. Take that out of the way. Put that back on. Right. So we'll start the engine up. We'll let that circulate round for uh, ten minutes or so. Starts up nice after the coil pack's on. Nice and smooth and quiet. So yeah, we'll let that run for 10 minutes and we'll come on back. Right, I've just switched the car off. And just to level it all out a little bit, I've raised the front as well. I've put that on a couple of blocks. And I've left the jack. It's on blocks as well, but I've left the jack under there just for safety. Got my oil pan. Let's kick that under there. And we need to get to the sump plug, which is down under there. So we'll um, see if I can set the camera up any sense and then we'll uh, film it all coming out if we can right hopefully the camera doesn't fall over but we should be able to get somewhere near it from there so i'm going to come from inside or in front of the back wheel and this is um an eight mil
or the replacement safe mill. That one's smaller. Let me get a different socket. Typically, I don't have a seven on me. Let's um, try that. Okay, we'll go in with a uh, Torx forty five. So the new one I've got is a uh, 8 mil socket, like I said. Okay. And uh, undone easy enough. The secret is not to get hot oil down my arm. Pretty successful. It's actually a pretty nice colour to be fair. So we'll let that drain out. Yeah, it's actually um, the colour's pretty decent. Which is surprising. Smells all right. It's actually I showed me um yeah the sump plug. If it will focus, is actually a Torx head bit. I don't know if it's going to get it or not. So it's actually a T forty five Torx head bit. But we'll put that back here. As you watch the last bits of oil drain out. I'll see if I can get me uh, tool on the socket for the the socket head for the uh, oil filter. So this is 74 mil. So I'm hoping it's the same as Volkswagen's. Yes, which it is. That's coming undone all right. See if I can get this off without getting covered in oil as well. Oh, so far so good. rag here. We'll clean this up before we put it back in. And 
take off the um, old filter. We'll have a look through that, shall we? Um, take you in here see what we can see um, let's put it down here for a minute and inspect that for any junk so it's going to drop clean your hands up a bit and then we'll come back to the video all right here's the oil filter so all we want to do is just to look through this, see if we can see any um, oily deposits. Let's put a light on. See if we can see any metallic deposits within it. Nothing shouting out at the moment. So far so good, so I'm going to work my way around all of it, there's a lot of surface area here to capture. And apart from the um, glisten off the oil, I see no where no metal so it's just it's the light off my um, camera it's reflecting on the oil I don't know if that's showing up in the actual screen I'm not be able to see it there but it's like a trace runs all the way down through the groove so it's not particles it's picking up of metal that's actual oil residue blowing well I'm pretty pleased with that if I show you the whole thing all the way around it's pretty boring um, yes if I find anything I promise to let you know but I'll pause the video there while I carry on well, I'm pleased to report all happy days if you're wondering where I knew where I started from there's a little um, indent on the top of the filter here so I start from that and work my way around and um, yeah I think we're all good so we'll let the uh, remainder of the oil drip out I'll get back underneath to replace the uh, sump bung with my new one which is I'll show it to you so again this is all from design 911 so this package here is for the new crush washer and inside there is the new sump plug which has got the um, 8mm allen head on it. So this is the non-metallic one, uh, non-magnetic one I should say. So there, uh, that's what we're going to be using so I may as well Take it out, put it on a nice clean surface, away from the oil. And then we plug, I mean it's an aftermarket plug, probably why it's got a different head. 
So there we go, that's ready to go back on. I'd say that's an 8mm socket T45 on the one I took off. Interesting. Right, let's take you back out to the car when the oil's finished draining. So what we'll do while we're waiting the oil's still draining out, we'll just move the filter to one side. This is the oil filter housing. We'll give that a, um, a clean up. Excuse me, so we can reuse that. And there you go, for reference, 25 Newton meters. <coughs> Excuse me, when we uh, put it back on. And what we've also got is a new O ring to replace earring just there so we'll swap that out but I want to make sure that it's nice and clean and again, if we look down in the bottom of there although it's shiny off my light I've got no bits of crud nothing metallic which is a bonus So normally, particularly on this type of engine, is a good indicator of wear, or any engine really, but I know they like to look inside the oil filters housing, see if it's caught anything. I'll say that's pretty good. I'll leave that upside down just to drain out those last few bits of oil. Hear the wind again. It's a blustery day today. So you want it nice and clean. No point putting the uh, back together dirty or debris in it if there was any. Happy with that, and then we can replace the O-ring. So hopefully the O-ring is in with the uh, new filter. Let me grab that. So this is a filter I'm using, a male one, or Marley, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, that's the Marley or male number again from Porsche uh, or Design 911. As their reference numbers. And again, the first three denote the model, so 996, which is the 911, same era car as mine, um, which is basically the same platform as the 986. So you'll see a lot of 996, 986 crossovers uh, as you go through if you want to do your own servicing or you need parts for your car. So in here we have a new filter and the o-ring so let's pop the filter back in the box for now then what we want to do is to get the old o-ring off so it's going to get a little flat head in here and if you notice there's a little indent just at, there's a break just here which is where we can um, get your pick or your screwdriver, whatever in, without doing any damage. And we'll just peel that off. And the new one will just feed back over again. Remember, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. It sits on the shoulder. Like so. And then what you want to do, I haven't really got any there, but see just a nice bit of oil on your finger just to run around the edge. Stop it binding up. But I shall probably do that when we actually go out to put it back on. In fact, I can probably take a little bit from inside the uh, there. But what you want to do is you want to avoid getting any 
contaminated or gritty bits of oil. So we'll probably get a dab of the uh, oil from outside from the top of the container and put that on. But the filter and the housing, when it's all drained out, are ready to go back on. So as I said, we'll wait for it to drain and then we'll come back to you. Right, well, so that's pretty much down to its last few drops. So we'll go ahead and put the sump plug back in. What I've actually decided to do is to reuse the original with the new crush washer. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. There's nothing wrong with it. I'll keep the new one as a backup. So we'll get back onto the car. So we'll just give it a uh, clean up. And without dropping it in the old oil. refer to your uh, owner's manual for the talk there we go happy days we'll do the same around the uh, air filter house uh, oil filter housing big fun Clean that up. All right. Let's pull that out of the way so we can see. I guess you can probably do this separately or together, but oil filter on. So let's get a tab of oil. Just put around the O-ring. Like so. Okay, and that was uh, 23 newton meters. Remember, it's just plastic. I'm not putting any effort into this. And that's it, there we go. Right. We'll put out the oil and have a look. So there we have it, there's nothing shiny metallic. It smells like oil, it doesn't smell like it's been contaminated with fuel or anything like that. Okay, so I'll decant this into some containers and let's see about um, 
fill them back up, shall we? So this is my new oil. I went with Porsche's recommended oil, the mobile one. Or mobile one. Here we have ten liters of Mobile Super three thousand five W thirty fully synthetic engine oil. So that's what we're going to be putting in Porsche. It says down the bottom here, if you can see for Porsche. Get the other one out as well. Oh, free bottle of uh, antibacterial gel, that's kind of. So another one the same. So that's what we're going to be using in the car. So we'll open up the back of the car, get it ready to uh, put some oil in there. Right, here we go, first lot of oil. It's about nine litres of oil, there or thereabouts. So I'll use the funnel. We'll just go with the first lot of five litres. Get it all in there, and then the last bit will um, go for about eight liters. I'll check on the dipstick and just keep going from there until we get to um, our fill level. Yeah, I'll just keep going like that. Again, I'll come back to you after I've filled the oil up. Right, so I've got about eight litres in there. We'll um, pull the world's longest dipstick. Wipe it off. Yeah. It's hard, I'm in the like the shade of the boot. Let's try that one again. When you put the ignition on the car as well it will tell you your oil level. Yeah, it's up to that notch there if you can see but not up to the dot so I think we can go a little bit more obviously we wouldn't have got all the oil out when we emptied it And obviously it's got to go around the system and fill up the oil filter as well. So I need to check it after. We've run it for a little while as well. So yeah, I'll just keep doing that until I get to the uh, right amount. Right, so I've dipped it again. Hopefully you can see now. It's up to the... Um, I don't know if I can see the camera. <laughs> Probably can't see because it's so dark in there. 
we're up to the dot now on the dipstick. So we'll run it up, let the oil go around, and then we'll check it again to make sure we got our levels right. But other than that, so it's done. So I'm still going to do the um, air filter, the cover filter, the fuel filter. It might take so long when I'm talking, I'll probably bring these down into little sections. So yeah, we'll leave it there on this one. So that's the old series completed on the uh, Monster. So I hope you found that interesting and something that you can follow along to do it yourself. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, big shout out to uh, Design 911 who sent me all the parts to do it. Obviously that I paid for. Uh, I'm not quite at the uh, Matt Armstrong stage of getting everything uh, as part of a partnership. <laughs> Speaking of Matt Armstrong, did you see his Lamborghini crashed? Nightmare, but I digress. Um, sorry Matt. Um, yeah, that's proper bad luck, mate. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you've uh, managed to follow along on the Porsche Boxster so far. I hope you're enjoying what we're doing on all of our cars down here. And uh, please, if you are, make sure you leave a comment below for me to read. I do answer every single comment that comes through to me. And if you like the uh, video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet done so, I don't know why you wouldn't have, but please subscribe to the channel. Because there's lots more fun stuff like this coming up on all of my cars that I work on, including the Jag XKR and all the like camper van stuff. So thank you so much, everybody. And we'll see you again soon on the next episode of Projects in the Barn. Take care, everyone. See you soon.